Well, what is going on, guys? Back with another video, and today is the review of Sheffield Wednesday versus Norwich City. The reverse fixture ended up in a 2 1 win for Norwich City, them scoring two late goals. Let's see if we can improve there, but I don't really expect it as we're quite crap at the moment. And they're, of course, top of the championship. Before we get into the first half, let's see what our starting 11 has to say. In between the sticks is Westwood returning. Back four of Urigida, Hutchinson, Lisa, Palmer. The midfield five is Pelopesa, Bannon, Harris, Widdas and Reach. And the single guy up top is Jordan Rhodes. On the bench today is Wildsmith, Brennan, Penne, Brown, Kachunga, Hunt, Shaw, Marriott and Patterson. So let's see what the first half has to offer. It's half time and we're actually 1-0 up. Jordan Rhodes with the goal. We had a free kick. Bannon took it, tried to loop it over the defence, got blocked, falls to Pelopesa, he takes a shot, again deflected, and then Rhodes just with an easy finish from like six yards out. Thought it was offside, but it wasn't, and we're 1-0 up. We've actually looked very good in this half. We've created chances, maybe some could have got in, but we are 1-0 up and that's important. We have got the advantage in the first half. We are dominating, kind of. It's looking good. Everyone's feeling confident for some reason. We're taking our players. We're very good in attack right now, I think. We're creating good chances. We, we need to capitalise soon because these are Norwich and they could just turn over a result in seconds like they did last time. And every time they go up, they look like they're going to score. So we really need to get some more goals and just shut off this result and it'll be a very good win if we get it. But I'm still not expecting anything from this game. I know we're 1-0 up, but we did bottle it last time. So in order to get a result here, we need to be defensively solid. But let's see what the second half has on offer. Well, you just knew it was going to happen. 2-1 <laughs> win for Norwich City. We bottled it again, but both... Very good finishes from Norwich. Kieran Westwood can't do anything about it. They're both in the top corner. Timu Puka, one's quite easy. All he has to do is cut across keeper and he did. Todd Cantwell's goal is absolutely class from him. He just finesses it into that left-hand corner. Comes from the crossbar, just goes in. No keeper saving that, but it's all came from Norwich City's defence and press that they do. Which the second goal, they had a free kick, it got blocked. Josh Widdas picks up the ball, he tries to go for a sprint, and he gets absolutely clattered. What a tackler! Brian Buendia picks it up, slides it to Todd Cantwell, and of course, ends up in with the goal. But what can I say? It's just different class, different gravy. They've got ex Premier League players, we've got like League One players at the moment. It's absolutely shocking. It's a difference in performance, difference in per class. It's a difference between playing for the manager, playing for the fans and that. Because you can tell Norwich City are going to the Premier League. It's, it's basically already confirmed. They only need like seven more wins or something like that. And they're going to do it. I think we are destined for League One. We're not going to get out of this mess. But at the end of the day, it was Norwich City... 2-1 loss, at least we did get like absolutely clattered like a 5-0 loss or anything. We kind of kept it quite clean. But in order to get points, we need to win matches and it's just not working out. A lot of players are out of contract, so they're just playing until the end of the season basically and they're off. Which is not a very good sign to have that like, players don't even care about the club anymore. Because, you know, they're just going to be off. But again, I'm not too disappointed about this result. It's Norwich City, the champions, basically, of the championship. And we've kept it respectable, at least. It's just not a very good thing to have when we're 23rd. We need to points on the board. And it's just not going our way again with the two goals. Could have ended up as a draw. 
but we could hold on. The only thing I can really say is just a massive difference between the first and the second half again. It just always punishes us in the second half. I don't know whether that's fatigue, tiredness and stuff like that. We're not physically fit enough. We just look a completely different team. Well, I think it's going to be the end of today's video. Smash that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. The support recently has been amazing. But, as always, see you to the next one. Bye.